This slide is an absolute mess. I talked about this in a recent video with the introduction of DLSS 3.5, and I was trying to clarify which GPUs support which features, and this is the official slide from NVIDIA's slide deck that's supposed to be doing this. And this confused a lot of people. And um, I think people started getting confused uh, when DLSS 3 was first announced, and now the introduction of 3.5 is making that even more confusing. I'm going to jump over here. This is like a headline we saw from a PC Gamer article. There's a lot of other articles from other places saying similar things. When DLSS 3 first came out, saying things like DLSS 3 is exclusive to the 40 series. And the problem is that that's not actually true. It's only true if you think DLSS 3 means frame generation. And this is where NVIDIA, I think, has gotten themselves into trouble with their branding of these technologies. I think DLSS was so um, successful and, and so highly regarded that when they created the new frame generation feature, they decided to call it DLSS. And I really don't think they should because DLSS, D Deep Learning Super Sampling, is a super resolution technology. You render the game at a lower internal resolution and then it outputs an image that it, uh, you know, tries to reconstruct to look like a higher output resolution. Frame generation doesn't do that. Frame generation is a type of, uh, of, of interpolation. You're looking at uh, a image, uh, a normal frame your game generates. Then you look at some game data motion vectors pointing to where these objects are going. And then you get most of the next frame rendered, and then a type of interpolation happens between those to generate a in-between frame, right? And, and, and then that's why your frame rate increases. But it's really not doing at all the same thing as super resolution, which is just allowing your uh, game to run at a lower internal resolution, right? These are entirely different features. And then with DLSS 3.5, um, uh, we have the introduction of ray reconstruction, which is really uh, a better denoiser for, uh, for ray tracing. It's a better ray tracing denoiser. This one at least is more of a super resolution technology. It seems like more like the original DLSS. Uh, in that the idea is to have a smaller number of rays, but then kind of reconstructed into a, uh, a more detailed image with better denoising, that type of thing. However, the confusion now is that there's really three technologies that are not the same thing, all under the DLSS umbrella. And with the introduction of 3.5, um, it's now even more confusing which GPUs support which technologies. And once again, uh, this uh, slide right here that was supposed to be explaining this from NVIDIA, I think is very hard to read because this isn't how most consumers want to think about it. So really what they're doing is that DLSS 3.5, well, let's start out with this. When DLSS was just version one and two, it was just a super resolution technology. With the introduction of DLSS 3, you then introduced the frame generation technology, but you still had super resolution under that umbrella. And then DLSS 3.5 is now uh, adding on a third technology. But the problem is these are supported by different GPUs, right? So let's try to um, fix <laughs> their chart. I think this might be useful for people. I might blind you because I'm just opening up a Google Docs, okay? So here's the thing. I think that NVIDIA honestly should have dropped the whole numbering scheme when it came to introducing the new technologies. This is what's confusing people. So I think what, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this chart without putting DLSS 2 or 3 or 3.5 in the chart at all. Instead, let's show which GPUs support which feature. So DLSS super resolution is supported by RTX 20, uh, sorry, so, uh, yeah, 20. RTX um, 30 and RTX 40 series GPUs. And we would assume as more RTX GPUs come along, we'd get more of them, but you can't support it on any GTX GPUs uh, that didn't have that same kind of tensor cores that that is running on. Then we had what NVIDIA called DLSS 3, but really it was uh, introduction of an entirely new feature 
called frame generation. And I think putting the DL in front is reasonable because it is a, you know, a deep learning, you know, there was an AI training uh, th that uh, assisted making this technology. Um, but frame generation is just not doing the same thing as super resolution, right? Which was the original DLSS. Anyway, frame generation, this is only supported on the RTX 40 series. NVIDIA's um, stated reason for this is that it requires a certain amount of optical flow accelerator hardware, dedicated hardware on the GPU, in order to run their algorithm at least well enough uh, that they're happy with it and it gets the results that they want. Now, of course, uh, the 20 and 30 series still have some optical flow accelerators. Whether NVIDIA could get a version of it running on them, who knows, but this is NVIDIA's stated reason for it being only on the 40 series. And um, until now, a lot of people just kind of called this chart DLSS2, and they called this DLSS3. But that was already kind of wrong. <laughs> and let me get to that for a second here. What I mean by that being kind of wrong is let me take a, a screenshot of a file from my Cyberpunk library right now. So I just opened up my, my Steam library, I opened up Cyberpunk, I dug through the game files, and you can find the version of the DLSS DLL in Cyberpunk right now is version 3.1.13. And this absolutely does run on a 20 series GPU and a 30 series GPU. And it even has updated um, super resolution. The, the, uh, you know, the AI training that they do to, to create that out super resolution algorithm does improve with these 3.x versions. It does improve. And this is where we already had a problem um, <laughs> with the numbering scheme versus the feature set. Uh, and that gets confusing for people. In fact, um, techpowerup.com uh, actually has an NVIDIA DLSS DLL library that they track. Anytime a game comes out or is updated to have a new version of the NVIDIA DLSS DLL, um, uh, uh, Tech Power Up adds it here. You can just take the folder out of your game file and they track it here and you can download these. And like even the DLSS 3.5 DLLs on here now, but you know, we had 3.1 versions and all of that. There was a bunch of 3.1 versions. All of these, had updates that did run on the super resolution element of it on your 20 and 30 series GPUs, not just your, your 40 series GPUs. So in my uh, recent video, when I said that DLSS 3 does work on 20 and 30 ser series GPUs, this is what I mean. Your game can have a DLSS 3 point something DLL file in it, which contains updates to the super resolution technology and it does run on your 20 or 30 series GPU. It's just that you cannot enable the frame generation feature from that, okay? And then with the new DLSS 3.5 update, where again, I feel like the numbering scheme doesn't, uh, doesn't really help, it makes sense, it's not helpful, this will run on RTX 20 series uh, and RTX 30 series and RTX 40 series. Um, so DLSS, when, they, when we say that DLSS 3.5 runs <laughs> on all RTX GPUs, it means that the new ray reconstruction, the new AI denoiser uh, for ray tracing runs on the 20, 30, and 40 series GPUs. That's what that means. So this, I think, is the chart that, pe that, that like, right, this is the chart NVIDIA released but this is the chart that I think people actually want to un want because it helps them better understand what is happening with their, with their GPU, okay? So games with uh, the 3.5 DLL uh, will pro it have uh, you know, super resolution and ray reconstruction, and both of those will run on any RTX GPU, 20, 30, and 40 series. Um, but you won't be able to turn on frame generation, and that hasn't changed. I saw some people in my comment section on the DLSS 3.5 video thinking that because DLSS 3.5 runs on all RTX GPUs, that suddenly you would finally get access to frame generation on the 20 and 30 series, and that isn't true. And this is where I think maybe it's too late now, but NVIDIA, like I said, I think 
should have just considered these three different technologies, each with their own, you know, update versions as the technologies improve. Um, but by calling this, you know, DLSS 2 and calling this DLSS 3 and calling this DLSS 3.5, we run into a problem because the DLSS 3.5 DLL, you know, actually contains all three of those technologies and some of them work uh, on, uh, on some GPUs, but not others. In other words, it's really just frame generation that's locked down and that's uh, getting pretty confusing. And that's what this chart was trying to explain. Um, DLS, uh, the DLSS umbrella supports multiple, um, uh, multiple different technologies within it. And the super resolution technology runs on all RTX GPUs and so does ray reconstruction. It's only frame generation that is locked down to the 40 series. Um, but then by adding in these, these version numbers, that's getting really confused. So <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope that this really did clarify it uh, because when I try to explain this more briefly in some other videos, I had comments misunderstanding it and people arguing with, about it in the comment section and all of that. Hopefully this clarifies everything and I hope all of you have an excellent day.